5 Reasons Vita Will Get You Through Drought Lander Vita is now 2 out of 6 episodes in and already will help you make it through Drought Lander. And if you're getting through Drought Lander in other ways, it's a show you don't want to miss. Stars' two new shows are certainly gaining attention on social media. Vita, especially, is helping to bring people together and show different Latina and gay characters in many different and realistic ways. While it's not a direct replacement for Outlander, in fact, there is no replacement for Claire and Jamie, it does serve as a way to get through Drought Lander. Even if you don't need another way to get through this long hiatus, it's worth watching the show. Quite honestly, this is one of those half-hour programs that will have you thinking about all sorts of topics and issues of the day. Here are 5 reasons to watch Vita to get through Drought Lander. Number 1. Emma is a strong and independent woman. If you like Claire for her independence and strong character, you'll like Emma. This is the elder sister and the most estranged from her mother. It's clear that this has something to do with sexuality but after 2 episodes, we haven't quite got to the exact reason why yet. But the reason doesn't matter. Within 2 episodes, you get an instant idea of this character. She makes mistakes and she can be selfish, sometimes a little like Claire, but she has her head screwed on. When she realizes she's made mistakes, she owns them and starts working on the next step to rectify issues. Number 2. Lynn is flirtatious and fun. Sometimes you want the character that can make you feel young again. You want someone who doesn't feel ready to be an adult, so you can watch them grow. That's certainly the feeling I get about Lynn the younger sister. Sometimes, she reminds me a little of Marsley, just not ready to settle down in the way Marsley was. Lynn wants to have some fun, is kind-hearted and good-natured, but can certainly wind you up now and then with some of her actions. Although, in episode 2 there's a moment that will make you smile through the hatred she has for another character. Number 3. There are gay and straight characters. Outlander doesn't shy away from homosexuality. While that is in the 18th century world, there are both gay, straight, and likely bisexual characters in Vita. One of the sisters strikes me as closeted gay and the sister's mother was married to a woman before her death. Then there are the issues that come with being gay. There are those who are prejudiced simply because it's not what they agree. This is something the main characters are clearly going to need to fight against. But this is likely to be a story about overcoming those struggles and the prejudice, very much in the way that Outlander helps with other storylines. Number 4. It's about family. Outlander has the focus on family. It's not always the most conventional family, but there is family in there. Season 4 will have the theme of home, which Claire and Jamie have already said is where each other are, that was in Season 2. Vita is also about family in some unconventional way. At first, it's about two sisters who return home after the death of their mother. However, they start to learn secrets about their family and realize there's a world that they never knew about. Now they have to come together with their widowed stepmom to succeed in ways they didn't realize they'd have to. Number 5. There's plenty of action, but not in the way you know it. Vita doesn't have action in the way that Outlander does. This isn't about stopping the Battle of Culloden or getting ready for the Revolutionary War. However, there are battles to be won and action to be taken. It's what comes from living in a neighborhood with both legal and undocumented Mexicans. You'll see all types of battles through the likes of vlogging statements and financial problems. This is a story about life and it doesn't sugarcoat it. But that's a good thing. It's also created by a fan of Outlander, so she knows what keeps fans glued. Have you given Vita a chance yet? Will you try it to get you through Droughtlander? There are only 6 episodes, so what have you got to lose? Share your thoughts in the comments below.